Alright, so I figured I'd show you guys a setup that I see very often for guys cutting in and it kind of bugs me a little bit because I go, whoa, that's a lot of extra tools to have up there with you and you, you know, you're, they're, you know, their brush is up here hanging like that, you know, and one time it falls down in the bucket and, and uh, you know, now you got to paint up on your heel of your brush. If you watch my other videos, you shouldn't have paint past about one to two inches up uh, above the uh, bottom of your bristle so so we got here a nice three and a half angle uh, three, three and a half straight brush which is what you should be using to cut in walls and uh, some of you guys are going to fight me on this and say hey it's so much faster and easier to use a cut in an angle tip um, if you guys would learn the way that I'm showing you you won't be using one of these you'll find out using this coming off of it light nice three and a half I, I like a three and a half um four inch anymore those are for you young guys four inch brushes anybody that's 20 to 30 years old you should be using a four inch brush shame on you if you're using a smaller brush to cut in walls you should be using a big one because you can handle it you're you're, you're stronger you're younger you can you can uh, work that four inch brush yeah, at the end of the day, you're going to be more tired, but you're going to have another two or three quarts of paint on the wall than the guy who doesn't have it. So that's more money in your pocket if you're working by yourself, um, you know, cutting in or cutting and rolling. Anyway, so let's take a look at this setup. And this is what I see a lot. And I've seen this on several YouTube videos. In fact, I've seen it when I'm not around. They think that I don't know what they're doing, but I know what they're doing. But some of the guys, uh, we have one guy who, <laughs> he's not really a painter, he's a helper, and he and he tends to bump the ceiling. You know who you are, you're out there. <laughs> so he needs like a 12-inch cut from the ceiling, so, um, but, uh, oh well, everybody needs a job, so not everybody can do this. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's talk about this for a second, and uh, so... You're cutting in walls and you're using a weenie roller to cut in. So in other words, you see, I, I see you guys doing this. Let's get this brush opened up here. And this is usually the tool you're using right here, a two and a half, two inch angle. And I've seen so many guys on YouTube doing this. They're sitting there cutting in, okay? They cut in like this. Shh, look at, I did both directions, got it all filled in, and they're using a really stiff brush because they want to make sure it goes into the texture and uh, I got news for you. You can reduce the paint just a little bit and it'll actually do the same thing He's using the stiff brush and you can learn to release it with a lighter Brush and you will still get the same thing done And then what they do is they take their weenie roller or their slim jim roller and they roll it So then they got a nice big cut all the way down, you know, 8 to 12 inches from the From the ceiling. Well, you know if you're a good roll guy, you should be able to go, you should be rolling up to, you know, about right, about three inches, two and a half, three inches from the ceiling um, and not hit the ceiling. But if you're really bad rolling, you know, maybe you need a 12 inch cut. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've seen guys who do. So versus doing the weenie roller, if you're going this direction and then you're flat brushing your last stroke, okay, you can... And then right before you pull your last stroke, you dip your brush again and put a nice, heavy, fat, light tipped brush on there. You'll cover a lot better than you will with this. You're going to find that when you're using your Slim Jim, first of all, the things, all the, here's all the things you're doing wrong. You got a Slim Jim in a bucket and you got a roller. So you got so many more tools in there, you're you're wasting time. Because now you gotta try and hold your brush and then not dip it, not drop it in the paint, or you're getting paint on your handle of your brush, or you're you're setting it down. I've seen guys say have them you know setting it here and then they're dipping, right? And then you fling paint up on your brush handle, or you're holding it with your other hand, you know, or whatever. You've got too many tools in the bucket. So if you just have a, a cut-in brush and you have another person doing the rolling or out of a five-gallon five, five gallon bucket, 
you, or if you guys are using 18 inch rollers i've seen some of you guys use those i i'm personally don't like an 18 inch roller it's just too heavy um you can get i can be just as fast with a nine inch roller as you can with an 18 just as fast because i'm not it's going to take me less time i have less i don't have that big heavy uh tray to take around and you, you move one of those trays around you splash it over the sides you're making a mess you have to cover a lot more it's much easier to work out of a five and a nine inch roller we'll talk about that in another video but we're talking about really about cutting in with a weenie roller so the problems with this okay first of all you got too many tools in the bucket okay too many things to switch around so you're fiddling with too much stuff we know all you need to do yeah, get rid of this and you've just got this you just bam tap tap go bam tap tap go bam tap tap go and you're just doing that all day you, you don't have any other tools in your way so you're losing time and now so if you're coming off of it if you're just going like this cut in you go the other direction cut in tip it tip it done you know your last tip be though you're gonna dip it once and then you're gonna tip it the last time so you do it just like that and you're going to be faster people think they're going to be faster with a weenie roller now so that's the thing not to do if you can if you don't need to cut in a 12 inch cut like your roll guy knows what he's doing and he doesn't hit the ceiling uh, that's the way to do it okay so but let me tell you when you can use a weenie roller or a slim jim roller to cut in so let's say you're doing T-bar ceilings or you're doing a ceiling and the it's the same color over the same color. Exactly, you know, it's really, really close. Maybe it's just very slightly different. Just so, but so close that it can work. Let me show you what you use. You can take your cardboard shield. You can tuck it against the ceiling like that. And then you use your Slim Jim like this and there's a button on the end okay and you rub your button against here and you cut and you roll, roll up against it sometimes you can do that on a second coat if you're doing a ceiling um, you can use it you know if let's say your first coat just doesn't cover at all and you usually that first half inch will cover almost every time but let's say you know it, you're just not you're trying to light tip it and it doesn't cover but you want to go over it again that's when you can use a slim jim to cut in the second time sometimes you'll use a shield sometimes you can just roll it up within a half inch of the top without using a shield same thing around on a metal door frame you know maybe you're you're just gonna whip a second coat on around the door frame you can hold it to the side i'm trying to do this with holding the and you can just push that button against the, the uh thing there and do that but the thing to watch out for is that fat edge when you push on the roller and the fat edge from that very edge of the roller can be kind of ugly so you want to make sure that you before you do that you kind of push on this edge of the roller roll it a little bit release some of the paint on the wall and then do that so that you have a nice you know don't have too much of a fat edge there because it can be ugly and that's not a good you know that's not that's not going to fly with a lot of people so I don't do that. I mean, my, my regardless of how I do my work, it doesn't matter what I'm going to do. Mine will never have an ugly fat edge or anything like that on my jobs. I just won't allow it. It just won't happen. So anyway, those are a couple pointers you can use to, with or without a Slim Jim. Now, I highly recommend when you're cutting in not to use a Slim Jim. This is Idaho guys like to use these in their buckets because they have too many tools in there it's just more work more time you know you're you're losing it man hours by doing that you really are it, it, and that's because you're using one of these so you're trying to make up for not using the right tool which is a flat cut brush all right so anyway a couple common mistakes that guys are using and a few things that you can do to use a weenie roller or a slim jim roller to do your cut in. All right, talk to you in the next video.